Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So for today's video, since we're all stuck at home, uh, I thought it would be the perfect time to film a studio tour. And by studio, I do mean my bedroom slash uh, office space. <laughs> um, as many of you may know, I live in a two room apartment with a kitchen and a bathroom. The apartment is pretty small, but we make it work. I live with my boyfriend and my cat. So basically our bedroom is split into the bed area, which is right there. And this whole area, which is my um, illustration space. So since I've been working from home, I decided to uh, make the whole uh, area look a bit fresh. I ch changed the positioning of my desk. So I moved it here next to these shelves. And I will show you everything in detail in this video. But I wanted to uh, show you where I work. I think uh, these types of video are, videos are so interesting for me to watch. So I really love watching how people uh, manage their working space, how they store stuff and stuff like that. So I will show you how I store uh, my art supplies and my Patreon stuff. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching this video. Other than that, I want to know how you guys are doing. I know it's a pretty weird time right now. Um, it's weird not seeing my friends or my family and I think that's the part that gets to me the most. But um, overall I'm pretty used to sitting at home and working so <laughs> that's pretty much what I've been doing to keep sane. So yeah, let me know in the comment section how are you doing and just keep watching to see the rest of the studio tour. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Okay, so it's time for the voiceover part. Here's an overview of the whole room. As you can see, it's a bedroom slash office. Uh, the bed frame is from Ikea. I really, really love it. It's huge. It fits my cat, my boyfriend and I very well. It's really nice that my desk is near a big window so I have a lot of natural light when filming and when painting so that's pretty great you can also see my cute cat just chilling so this is the desk area I tried to use as much as I could the wall space to store everything because we don't really have a lot of storage space in this apartment so you will see a lot of shelves I also have this mirror from when I was in college so this is where I keep some of my clothes some are stored in my closet and up there I have a shelf with some of my favorite plants, my embroidery kit and some Patreon stuff. But yeah, as I said, shelves are very important in this house. The shelf is also from IKEA and the clothing rack is second hand. We actually found it somewhere, <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to link anything. So this is a close up of my other shelves. Uh, they're really narrow ones. I wanted them to not stick out too much because I wouldn't be able to open the window. And on the top shelf, I have some books and a print from Oxford. Over here, I have my calendar, this cute cat plate from Amsterdam, I think, and my mixing palette. I like to keep everything at arm's reach. I have these cute uh, glass jars in which I keep glitter and stuff like that. Also here I keep my iPad so my cat won't scratch it and my planner and most of my brushes and pencils. So here's a close up of the plant shelf. I have this terrarium. I bought it with some plants which died in it. So I decided to improvise and make something with some decorative stuff in it. I also have this huge plant from my boyfriend. And here is my embroidery <laughs> kit, which I haven't touched in a while. And this is what I was working on, but I kind of just gave up on it, basically. Hopefully I'll be able to start embroidery again. So moving on to the IKEA drawers. These are Alex drawers and the bottom drawer holds all my art supplies. So. You have the Viva Car sheets, the Kyuretake Gem colors. I have my Sone Metallic Gouache. Uh, this Windsor and Newton panel palette 
is actually the first watercolor I bought, so it holds a very <laughs> special place in my heart. I don't really use it that much. These are the Ecoline additional colors, which you might have seen a video last week <laughs> if you were paying attention. And this box right here holds all sorts of miscellaneous stuff, which I didn't find room for, so like powder pigments, inks, some Faber-Castell watercolors, the Pebeo gouache and stuff like that. Uh, here I have my Prima watercolors in the woodlands and the vintage pastels, which I also have reviews on. Back there I have some gold foil, which I used to use for embellishing my illustrations, but I just forgot about it. I also have some iridescent medium from Winsor & Newton. And yeah, my big Winsor & Newton palette, which I really, really love. Um, but I haven't used in such a long time. I need to revisit it and start using it again because it's really good. I also have the Fine Tech metallic colors. This is one of my favorite art supplies. And I really, really recommend it. Also, I have some air dry clay, which I made my keychains with. And this Kiretake white ink is probably the best white ink you'll find out there and I'm running low on it and I need to get a new one. I also have the Arteza 24 colors gouache set. I really love these. Uh, the variety of colors is great. I have some block printing ink. This is a huge tub so it will last me forever. The Krila gouache by Holbein, also one of my favorite art supplies that I own. The Kiretake Kansai Tambi palette. I like to swatch colors and keep them in my palette so I know how the colors will look and I suggest <laughs> you do that because it's very easy. And also the Prismacolor cold erase pens. So the next drawer is my favorite drawer. <laughs> it's the Patreon rewards drawer and I have a lot of stuff in here. So I made these zipper pouches for my patrons. Uh, I really love them although I do think the print could have turned out nicer. I have a lot of sticker sheets which I send out to any new patron uh, in the first month as a thank you for pledging. So I have a lot of designs because I made a lot <laughs> attending design fairs and stuff like that and I don't want them to waste away so I will give them to new patrons. I think it's a nice gift and as you can see there are corals and crystals and all sorts of cute quirky designs. So I also have some notebooks that are left from me attending a design fair. Uh, these are the last pieces and I do send these to $15 patrons. As you can see I only have three designs. Uh, the birds one, the corals one and one cat design. But they're really nice. They have blank pages and I actually use one as a planner for myself. I also have some Patreon thank you cards which I like to include in any small package I send out. I think it's cute. It's something you can actually frame or give to another person. And back there I have some other sticker sheets. This is the Paris sticker sheet I did while visiting Paris. I really love it. I need to package these up though because <laughs> they are just sitting there without any protection. And I have some Inktober sticker sheets with um, yeah, Inktober prompts. And these are really cute as well. I think sticker sheets are my favorite thing to do. So back there I have some new products. Um, these are memo pads, which I love how they turned out. But unfortunately I made them before the whole pandemic thing. And I still haven't been able to send them to my patrons. But they're really cute. And I think they're great for writing down ideas. And once everything is back to normal, my patrons will get one of these. I also have some leftover calendars with Inktober paintings. I also use this myself. <laughs> I think it's really handy to write down things in it that you have to do. And it's a desk calendar, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. I also have some prints I made. Um, these are all botanical prints printed on fine art paper and I think the colors look really nice and rich on them. I also did my first die cut stickers, which are so, so cute, and I can't wait to send them to you guys. Um, this is a 
happy plant pot sticker and I also have a cute bird sticker and yeah they're matte and they look very high quality and I'm so proud of them in the back I have some tote bags also for patreons the only ones remaining are these foxy illustrated ones and yeah I'm really proud of this drawer I think it's so nice to open it and see all the products I made the next drawer is pretty unexciting this is where I keep my camera so that's why it's so empty I keep here my first embroidery that I did and I have no idea what to do with it uh, in this pouch I just have cables <laughs> very very boring um, but useful because it's not cluttered I have some white gesso which I use for painting keychains and stuff like that a rag <laughs> for some reason my my Mary gouache gloss varnish I also have some duct tape these are some embellishments I used to use for my illustrations a while back like payettes and stuff like that I also have my Apple pencil case and back there I have all of the sketchbooks I have completed and a notebook in which I usually write down ideas for the YouTube videos I'm actually planning to do a full tour of all of these sketchbooks I think it would be interesting to see how I have evolved uh, throughout the years so each sketchbook is for a different year um, if you follow my channel for a while you might have seen many of these illustrations because I do them mostly for YouTube um, this one is actually my favorite it's last year's sketchbook and I feel like I reached a new point with my illustration last year and this is a cute sketchbook from Lee Ellickson which I completed with some illustrations from New York this is a planner from Adam J Kurtz I bought it because I really love the design it's very quirky and fun it came with a bunch of stickers in it and yeah I highly recommend you check him out yeah just my memory card um, and my JBL uh, wireless speaker and that's pretty much it for this drawer so the next drawer holds uh, pretty much all my packaging stuff for Patreon so uh, the silk paper I use for my packages these are just receipts from the post office some plastic covers for illustrations and this uh, cardboard envelopes that I recently got and I'm so happy I did because I used to use just a cardboard and in normal envelopes but with this I don't need the extra cardboard so it's great and they work perfectly for me this next drawer is also kind of patreon related I have my mouse um, and my basically extra packaging stuff so washi tape stickers I can add to the packages also sorts of decorative stuff I also have my earplugs here which you can see I keep them very neatly and put away <laughs> um, in a very tidy way and yeah, I'm just struggling here to get it back in its case please don't mind that so as I was saying I have like decorative stuff to make all the packages cute so stickers more washi tape uh, some thread which I can put around the package so it looks kind of like a present it's basically a, a cute drawer I also have I don't know I just buy stuff and then I use them to package up uh, patreon rewards it doesn't really matter I also have my business cards here I did make quite a few designs throughout the years I have some labels on which I write cute notes to patreons I like to collect these and uh, find really cute ones and back there I have stamping pads and stamps which I bought and which are also hand carved I also have a random keychain right there I don't know why uh, this is a pretty messy drawer in my opinion <laughs> I think I could store everything better but uh, I like to have it handy in case I need to add something really quickly in the back I have an ink roller because I don't know where to store it <laughs> and other miscellaneous stuff basically okay so we're moving on to the next Alex's drawer 
this is not really illustration related but on the top drawer I have all of my makeup which I'm not gonna go into too much detail about because I'm not a beauty guru or anything like that I have the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay which is probably the most interesting thing I have here other than that yeah I use mostly eyeliner and mascara so it's not that interesting so the next drawer contains uh, also some makeup stuff so lip stuff like li liquid lipsticks and lip balms and whatever they're all nudes basically I have my jewelry stored here and my watch it's the only watch I own uh, and the only one I wear this is a cute notebook from Beatrice Straws. she's from the same uh, town I live in and she makes cute illustration stuff these are some earrings I bought from a design fair from Rebecca Arts I think also handmade I like to buy a lot of uh, designer made things the next drawer is with my nail polishes I have a lot of those because I like my hands to look cute while I'm filming I also not gonna go into too much detail you probably seen many of the colors on my nails already and back there I have just paperwork and documents so the next drawer is a very random drawer I have like an art challenge book here it's basically where you draw postcards and you can rip them out and uh, give them to your friends I bought it in Amsterdam I think I also have a small sketchbook which in which I uh, draw really ugly stuff which you don't really see but yeah I need to get back to draw that because that's actually my ugly sketchbook <laughs> and it's very freeing to do do that and it's basically all papers in that drawer and the last drawer is my um, I don't know how it's called I put this on the mic so uh, the sound sounds better <laughs> I also have my scanner here and all sorts of stuff I can fit in other drawers and that is pretty much it so thank you so much for watching this studio tour I know it's been pretty long um, I hope you enjoyed it and as usual leave your comments in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video bye Hey